everyone, my name is Sarah Hodges and I am a Senior Industry Marketing Manager here at Autodesk and I am focused on the MEP and Structural Engineering industry and I'm really delighted to be here with you today and there's a couple of reasons for that that we'll talk about in just a minute. So I'm especially excited to be here because it's been a really exciting year for engineering on the MEP and structural engineering side. There's opportunities that lay, as, lay ahead for us as we go into this next year. We've seen so much momentum in the industry, BIM's really being adopted, and it really demonstrates the excitement that we see in engineering firms for building information modeling. For example, did you know that a little over two years ago, McGraw-Hill Construction predicted that by now, we would see adoption of BIM among MEP engineering firms triple. We'd see it double among structural engineering firms in the AEC industry. And what I can tell you is that certainly from what I can see, this is true. Firms all over the world are embracing and adopting building information modeling. The other thing that's interesting and important to note is that almost 20% of the MEP giants specified by consulting specifying engineer were merged to, sold to, or acquired by another AEC firm in this past year. So why is this interesting? Because it's creating the emergence of multidisciplinary firms. And these firms are going to look at technology as a way to help them deliver on their service offerings and gain competitive advantage. For these reasons, and many others, I'm excited to be here today to talk to you about the competitive advantages that building information modeling can bring to both MEP and structural engineering firms. So let's begin. So first of all, I want to talk a little bit about Autodesk. You may know that Autodesk started over 28 years ago with a product that was truly groundbreaking. It was called AutoCAD. Since then, Autodesk has grown to become a leader in the software industry with an unmatched portfolio of products addressing workflow needs in many industries as diverse as architecture, construction, film and games, process and plant, civil engineering, and of course manufacturing. The key to Autodesk's success is an ability to leverage technologies and workflows across these products and industries to bring value to customers and provide ROI with easy to use and easy to deploy solutions. Today, we're going to be talking specifically about the building industry. So who are some of the customers that serve in this industry? Well, we serve all disciplines in all sectors. We serve customers of all different sizes, from small to medium to large, to firms that serve different industries, whether it be commercial buildings, healthcare, institutional buildings, etc. It's really interesting to note that more than three quarters of Autodesk's business is with medium to large customers, and some of those are shown on the screen here. At the same time, small customers form an important part of our customer base, and we do more business with small customers than much of our competition does. For example, take a look at the images behind me here. You'll see ATP, a large multidisciplinary firm in Europe. They're evangelizing BIM with the Revit platform. You see examples of smaller firms like O'Day Engineers who focus on structural engineering. I bring this up because it really reflects the fact that while our solutions are attainable and affordable for small companies, these same solutions provide benefits to large companies and are scalable to the needs of these customers at the same time. So let's now talk a little bit about some of the trends that firms like MEP and engineering firms and structural engineering firms are facing today. Firstly, globalizations. Firms are servicing clients all around the world, presenting new opportunities to expand your market. You can relieve competitive pressures that you may face at home. Building information modeling, demand for BIM is increasing. We see this from owners, from architects, from contractors, all the way downstream. Sustainable design, it's now mandatory for many projects. It's no longer the nice to do, but the must to do. Building owners are concerned about cost predictability, reducing operating costs. Building codes are being included, like lead criteria. IPD, integrated project delivery, lean delivery, aggressive design build, and other collaborative methods are becoming the norm. So these are the challenges that many firms are facing out there. So what are some of the business challenges? We talked a little bit about building information modeling already, but it's increasing in demand. 
You need to be able to promote yourself as a BIM ready firm. Win new business, constantly striving to beat your competition. It's making it hard for firms to do this. There's increasing profitability. Today, more than ever, MEP and structural engineering firms are concerned with the bottom line. How do we do more with less? How do we continue to increase our profitability? And finally, how do we meet building mandates? How do we ensure we're delivering products as a sustainable design, energy efficient? How do we meet these evolving mandates to ensure safety? So what if you could do things differently? What if you could broaden your services to win more work? What if you could offer sustainable design and energy modeling services as an MEP engineering firm? Offer structural design and analysis services. Provide greater value to your clients and your owners who are increasingly concerned about cost predictability and energy efficiency. What if you could easily meet owner and government mandates for BIM? You could use intelligent models to design, visualize, simulate performance. Better understand the impact of design decisions much earlier in the process. Comply with BIM mandates. Better support the project lifecycle from design, build, and operate by using models to design, operate, build, use that information to predict performance before, post-construction. For example, did you know that the majority of a building's cost comes post-construction? I had a customer recently tell me that they need to own their buildings for an average of 50 years and approximately 90% of those buildings comes post-construction. Imagine being able to reduce that cost with greater predictability and insight during design before construction's even begun. What if you could collaborate with stakeholders effectively? Collaboration is the key to any successful project. Imagine being able to collaborate with your architectural counterparts, your engineering counterparts, the contractors in a seamless fashion. Imagine predicting clashes before construction and the time and budget savings that that could result in. With building information modeling, many of these challenges can be solved. So what does BIM mean to Autodesk? BIM is an intelligent, model-based design process. It provides insight for creating and managing projects faster, more economically, and with less environmental impact. Using information from BIM to design, visualize, and simulate projects is what BIM makes BIM so powerful. The Autodesk BIM solutions help you gain profit from project insight. For example, using accurate design information to document, simulate projects before they're built. It results in higher quality outcomes. It also helps you to save time and money with improved collaboration. Collaboration and coordination is the most complex piece of a project. Being able to perform analysis, optimize the sustainability of your project over the life cycle. The rich, coordinated information in a model enables a better understanding of a project, helps you create value at every step of the process to better plan, design, build, and manage your buildings. So BIM it's growing in momentum among the industry. I mentioned this when uh, we first began here. And there's some interesting stats here. For example, half of the AEC industry is now using BIM or BIM-related tools, according to a 2009 report. That's up 25% from where it was just two years prior. BIM leaders are quickly outdistancing their competition, and they'll be the ones that really emerge as leaders when the economy revitalizes. More and more, owners are demanding the benefits of BIM on their projects. In the US, for example, over 70% of owners report a positive ROI by using BIM. This is our future. Just over three quarters of a recent AEC professionals interviewed in a survey are currently leveraging BIM to achieve green objectives, tying BIM to those sustainable design needs. And over the next two years, we expect to see BIM double by structural engineers and triple by mechanical engineers, as I stated at the beginning. We're really at that pivotal point where we're seeing that. So how are firms receiving ROI from BIM? Well, there's never been a more important time for us to think about ROI. So let's take a closer look at how BIM can deliver improved return on investment. What you see here behind me is in a recent Stanford University Center for Integrated Facilities Engineering study, they found that based on 32 projects using BIM, they were able to have a 40% elimination of unbudgeted change, up to 80% reduction in time taken to generate a cost estimate. 
The cost estimation accuracy was in 3%. That's really, really compelling. And they had savings of up to 10% of the contract value through clash detections. And they had up to 7% reduction in project time. So you can see how powerful that return on investment is. So what are some of the benefits firms who embrace BIM will reap? You can see some of them here. It's about using intelligent models as an MEP or structural engineering firm to benefit during design. Design and build better buildings. Visualize and produce compelling visualizations to present your ideas more clearly. Use integrated analysis to inform design and construction decisions. Create consistent but higher quality construction documentation and improve control over your project outcomes with insight across the building life cycle. Many MEP and structural engineering firms today are reaping the benefits of BIM. For example, KLH Engineers, they're a firm here in the US. They've been using Revit MEP for some time now to deliver on system design projects. They recently worked on a library restoration project where they were tasked with ensuring they created a space at the right temperature and airflow to protect a historical set of books. Using BIM, they were able to successfully deliver this. They used BIM to collaborate effectively with the design team, deliver the project on time and on budget to meet the owner client demands, and they ensured that the books were stored at the right temperature to preserve their contents. The quote here on the screen demonstrates the value they saw. This is from one of their engineers there. They said, early on, we recognized that the BIM approach could benefit our firm, our clients, and our industry. Our strategic commitment to BIM and Revit MEP helps give us a more lasting competitive advantage. So we've talked about some of the macro and micro challenges facing engineering firms today, and uh, about some of those challenges that they face out there, but what about some of the challenges they face during the design process? What are some of the things that keep MEP and structural engineers up at night? What you see here are a couple of the examples of those. We hear all the time that customers think about, how can I understand my design with analytical results? How can I visualize those analytical results? I need to create an accurate physical model. I need to ensure that I meet design intent and reduce issues and costs in the field. I need to streamline collaboration with the design team. I need to maintain an accurate physical and analytical model. I need to perform analysis, but it's time sensitive and requires huge computing power. I need to easily compare design alternatives. I'd like you to keep some of these things in mind, some of these design challenges, as we take a look at ways in which the Autodesk portfolio for BIM can really help MEP and structural engineers solve some of these. So let's also keep in mind, as we walk through these next examples, the idea of the workflow following design, visualize, simulate, document, and build. And think about how the Autodesk portfolio can support these stages of the design process. So one of the biggest things that's new this year and shipping as part of the Building Design Suite Premium and Ultimate Edition is Autodesk Revit. Autodesk Revit will support accurate design and documentation, so a change made anywhere is a change made everywhere. And it provides access to a broader set of tools to streamline your workflows and allows you to collaborate more effectively with the building design disciplines using the Revit platform. So you have your tools in there for MEP, for structure, and for architecture. When it comes to visualize, MEP and structural engineers can use a variety of tools in the BIM portfolio. We can use Autodesk Revit to gain project insight with the visualization tools. 3ds Max Design lets you share your design intent with project stakeholders, win more work by using those intelligent models to create near realistic visualizations. Autodesk 360 Rendering allows you to access the cloud with a click of a button to produce compelling visualizations. For simulation, on the structural engineering side, we have Robot Structural Analysis Professional. This lets you perform more accurate analysis of even the most complex building structures. New this year is Autodesk 360 Structural Analysis for Revit. Allows you to conduct static analysis in the cloud as part of your BIM process. Removes the need to do this on your desktop. Navisworks Simulate lets you review, simulate projects with advanced scheduling and visualization capabilities. On the MEP side, opportunities are still prevalent in both construction, new construction, and existing buildings. 
For example, an MEP system accounts for approximately 60% of a building's total energy. So again, think about how being able to predict performance prior to construction or improve performance on an existing building can bring value and using intelligent models to do that. So for example, using Autodesk 360 energy analysis for Autodesk Revit, powerful cloud-based analysis capabilities let you look into energy consumption, better predict building lifecycle costs based on really early concepts. Green Building Studio lets you take that one step further, conduct whole building and energy analysis, understand your energy, water, carbon use, et cetera, on a building. When we move into documentation, many firms today are used to using AutoCAD for documentation. One of the biggest challenges they face when moving to a building information modeling methodology is this idea of producing documentation. But Revit is perfectly positioned to support documentation in a BIM workflow. For example, Using Autodesk Revit, you can easily connect your designs with documentation, ensure accuracy with the parametric change management technology. A change anywhere is a change everywhere. AutoCAD, you can use that for, to design and document and share your drawings if you need to with others who are using the DWG file format. And from a structural engineering perspective, AutoCAD structural detailing lets you create steel and concrete reinforcement detailing and fabrication shop drawings in the version of AutoCAD designed specifically for structural drafting. We can't forget that the value of BIM can also be carried downstream into the build phase to help ensure constructability. So the tools that can be used here, for example, are Autodesk Revit. You can gain access to a broader set of tools, the architecture tools, MEP, structure, collaborate more effectively as you move from design into construction. Navisworks Manage, we can use this to integrate 3D models, coordinate with the disciplines, resolve our conflicts before we move into construction or even into renovation. And finally, as we've mentioned previously, the key to a successful project is collaboration. And many of the Autodesk BIM solutions support this. For example, using Autodesk Revit like we've talked about, if your counterparts that you need to collaborate are using the Revit platform, Autodesk Revit is perfect for this. We also have the Autodesk solution for collaboration and data management. This is a secure, easy to use and fast to deploy solution, allows you access to project information from anywhere at any time. Autodesk Buzzsaw and Autodesk Vault Collaboration AEC are a part of this. So how do you take advantage of them and the many advantages we've discussed today? The answer is with the Autodesk Building Design Suite. Building Design Suite 2013 is a comprehensive software solution that combines building information modeling and CAD tools to help you make that transition, help you design, analyze, visualize, and build better buildings. It's important to note that there are a few things new to the Building Design Suite this year. For structural engineering firms, of particular note is the addition of Robot Structural Analysis Professional in the Ultimate Edition. This helps to complete the design to analysis workflow. For both MEP and structural engineering firms, the addition of Navisworks Simulate into the Premium Edition helps you to do project viewing, simulation, and visualization of your projects before construction. The Building Design Suite provides engineering firms with a smooth transition to BIM by supporting AutoCAD-based workflows, as well as helping you move to BIM with things like Autodesk Revit. As you leave here today, I hope that a few of our key themes will stay with you. The first one is, it's important to remember BIM demand is increasing. We see this at the owner level, government mandate level. Autodesk is providing a solution of complete suite of solutions that supports design, visualization, simulation, document, and the build stage, it can provide you with the competitive advantage that you need. So please visit us at the industry pages shown on your screen and download a free trial of the Building Design Suite. Thank you for your time. Mm -hmm.